of the wonderful patterns you can find on leaves. Leaves are all different shapes and sizes and colours and if you look really carefully you'll see some small lines on each leaf. They're called the veins. I went on a walk to find some more leaves and I saw my friend Eli from nursery with his sister. They helped me to look for some leaves on the floor. It's important that we don't pick leaves that are growing, otherwise they can't grow anymore. Lots of the leaves that we found on the floor had turned brown. Have a look at some of these, they're different shapes, sizes and colour. I'm going to do some artwork with these leaves so I can look really carefully at the different patterns. These are the things that I need. First take a leaf and put it under a piece of paper. Make sure it's nice and flat. Then choose what colour you'd like to colour over the top. Don't press too hard otherwise you won't see the pattern of the leaf. Make sure you colour all over so it's nice and colourful and there's no white left. You can see the outline of the leaf and the vein in the middle. Now I'm going to try a different one to see if it has a different pattern. Hmm, what colour shall I choose this time? I think I might choose a wax crayon instead. Ta-da! Here are my finished leaf patterns. Do you think they look the same or do they look different? Can you see the veins in the picture? You can create many different pictures using leaves and rubbing over the top with crayons or wax crayons. Now it's your turn to have a go. Ask a grown-up if you can go on a walk to find some leaves that have fallen on the floor or you could look carefully at some leaves on plants that you have in your house. Remember, not to pick the leaves that are still growing.